as you can see, Mantanani is the more experienced at professional level. Height-wise, there's nothing between them. He also, though, has the better win ratio. But Hudson, as you could see from his entrance, is hungry to get back to winning ways. This one is going to be electric, and Buddy Johnson is ready to announce the action for us right now. Bama London, inside the SSE Arena, Wembley. We bring you three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing first, to my left in the blue corner, standing six feet, two inches tall, and weighed in officially at 185.8 pounds. With an official record, four wins, three defeats from Wickham. He is Martin Mantime Hudson. And his opponent to my right in the red corner, standing six feet three and one half inches, weighted in officially at 185.4 pounds, with an official record. Eight wins, two defeats, one draw from London, England. Alex Manta Mean Montagnani. When the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Mark Goddard. So, Chris, Martin Hudson, so full of energy before the bat, but we've seen that can work against you when you're so fired up. I love the way that he just nodded at Montanani, and Montanani said, let's go. And here you go, just as you predicted, straight into the clinch. It's almost instinctive for both men. But this is going to be a very early answer to some of the big questions that we had about this contest. Right to the Muay Thai plum, and in come the knees. Two immediately from Hudson. Mantanani seems to have the more dangerous knees, and it's a knee fest at the moment. They're sword fighting with those knees. Incredible stuff early in this opening round. Mantanani and Hudson blow for blow. And that early tie up already told us about who might want this one down. I think Hudson would more than likely like to stuffle and stifle these punches, get him in, tire him out, and drag him to the floor. Montagnani, on the other hand, wants to use that clinch and stay standing. That's right, and you can see Hudson already blowing hard from that effort. Looks for the double leg, takes down, doesn't get it. And as we saw, the clinch is almost instinctive to him when we were watching videos of him. He goes for it regular intervals, but he's with a man now that can match him in that department, and that's the danger for him. So Hudson doing a great job using his head pressure here right now. That's another signature technique from him. He will get that head and utilize it to gain leverage and more importantly, destabilize Montagnani. It's another sort of aspect of his control, but that's a problem. Montagnani did a good job there of responding to the movements and he winds out up on top. That's right, it was almost like a slip from Hudson, but he's back up, right? Got his back to Mantanani looking to capitalize, looking for a big takedown here, you feel, Chris, but Hudson doing well so far. Hudson's got to be careful here. That belly-to-back position opens up a few opportunities for Mantanani, and he's got one hook in, punching profusely. The right hand like a piston there, Chris. He's got him trapped. The right hand is flying in now. Hudson tying up. Mark Goddard looking closely. Chris, this could all be over very soon now. And it is. It's a win for Martin Hudson. Alex Mantanani, vicious in his assault there. Martin Hudson is complaining to the referee, but Chris, that was the right time for the stoppage. Montagnani was relentless. He got on top and he never let him off the hook. He was utilizing that wrist ride. He held on to the opposite arm of Hudson. Hudson was covering with one arm and was trying to do the best he could to negate that damage, but Montagnani was mean and ruthless. Here we go, Chris. He's looking for the takedown. He's going to look for the slam here. Now, the key here is Martin Hudson is still saying I could continue. That's the Warriors aspect, but these were vicious. We said when he smells blood, he just doesn't stop. You could see the wrist ride there. Montagnani with that left arm holding on to Martin Hudson. That's automatically one less appendage to defend those blows with. Here another angle on how that all started. Montagnani belly to back, holding on there with that reverse body lock. Bumps him up with his hips, drags him down to the ground. One hook in, floats on top, tons of weight. And that was the beginning of the end. Mark Goddard gave him the time, gave him the opportunity, but when it was both arms, Chris, it's when it's the left and right going in. Watch, he changes from the right hand to the left and right. That's when Mark Goddard's seen enough. 
Tons of downward force and power there. Signature, Alex Montignani. Inside the Bama Cage, our referee, Mr. Mark Goddard, caught the stoppage to this bout at two minutes and eight seconds of round number one. To your winner by TKO with ground and pound, Alex Mean Montagnani.